Amen. And I'm going to come from a, from a title on tonight, Get Your Mind Right. Get your mind right. Listen, the reason why uh, the Lord has laid this on our spirit to uh, talk about on tonight is because uh, we are uh, uh, noticing the world that we're living in. And we're living in a world that uh, seems to be going crazy. Uh, we're living in a world that seems to have lost their mind. Uh, but I, 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 I serve notice uh, to the church on tonight that uh, I, I'm not really concerned about the world that lost their mind, but I'm more concerned about the church. Because we, we oftentimes uh, come into these four walls and we preach uh, as, as if the Bible does not uh, uh, refer to us as children of God. And we preach uh, uh, talking about the sinners out there uh, as if we don't have any issues on the inside here. And I, I just serve notice to us uh, on tonight that it's not necessarily uh, the, the world that has lost their mind, but it's the church that has lost their mind. Amen. Well, well why, why do you say that, uh, preacher? Because uh, the last time I checked, uh, uh, the Bible uh, was written to the children of God. And, and, and there was a mandate made to the children of God to say that we ought to be the salt to the earth. Oh, yes, uh, it was a mandate to us to say uh, that we are the light of the world. And so uh, we know that uh, the Christ, the Christos, uh, came into this world and he came to be as an example uh, uh, for us to live by so that we can in turn be examples uh, for the world. Amen. Uh, but as we look around uh, uh, in the church, we, 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 we too often find that uh, uh, the, 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 the things of the world has crept into uh, the church. Uh, when we come to church, uh, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell that we are actually in the church. Uh, uh, why is it? Because uh, uh, we, we get to the church and uh, we find that uh, what the Bible says that in the end times, somebody say end times, uh, Perilous times shall come, and, 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 and people will become lovers of their own selves and, and not lovers of each other. How many of you know that I came to church uh, to feel the love of Christ and, and not to feel uh, the hate of the world? Amen. Uh, but, 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 but so often we get to the church and, 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 and we, we, we get to the place where, where we find that, 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 that we look for uh, encouragement and we look for uh, 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 some somebody to uh, help us uh, to get to where we need to get spiritually but what we find is people that are seeking and searching opportunities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we look at the thing that the bishop has given us on this year and we look at the kingdom of God and the law of God is preached, and the kingdom is preached, and all men, somebody say all men, press into it. I made a declaration earlier this year that since Bishop uh, alerted my attention uh, to this, uh, this, this theme, that I decided that I was going to get in the press. And in deciding to get in the press, uh, when I was looking at myself, I found that it was an opportunity for me to do better at some things. Uh-huh. And you know, I, I'm not, this is not a, 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 a fire and brimstone message. Uh, I'm not uh, indicting anyone on today. Uh, but I will say that there is no greater quality than always striving to be better than you, the person that you are. And what that means is, is that I am forever uh, striving to do better than I did yesterday. 
Oh, yes, that, that, that is called progression. Amen. Uh, I want to submit to uh, uh, the, the, the delegates here on tonight that we ought to be looking at uh, doing better uh, than we did on yesterday. Amen. Uh, we ought to be looking at uh, uh, what we can do. Uh, if, if we do good at loving, uh, we ought to look at how can I love better. Amen. Uh, because the, the problem that I see with the church today is that we have become too religious. Can I say it, Bishop? Yes, yes, yes. We have, uh, the, the church have developed practices uh, uh, that's based on erroneously applying the word of God. What I mean is, is that uh, we've taken bits and pieces of scripture and, 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 and put our own meaning to it. Uh, 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 and, and so that we can uh, go to church and feel good and, and, and do the things that we want to do. Uh, but, but we don't uh, want to really subscribe to what we ought to do. And, and what, what that has done in the world that we are in is that uh, it has confused the world that we're in. And I want to submit to you uh, today, man and woman of God, that God is not the author of confusion. Uh, I want to let you know uh, that the law is good and the law is right. Amen. It brings us to uh, the text we have here, uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul, that is uh, describing something that we all know too well. Uh, I, I think that there's any, everybody in here, there's nobody in here that does not have humanity. Oh, yes, uh, we deal with humanity on a daily basis. Amen. Uh, matter of fact, David said that uh, it, it, it was uh, I was born in uh, iniquity and sh I was born in, uh, uh, in my mother's womb and, and shaping in to iniquity. Uh, and, and so we uh, David uh, really uh, defined uh, uh, the issue that we have uh, with dealing with humanity. And I wanted to come by here on tonight uh, uh, to give us just a little bit of what we can do about the humanity uh, that we have amen uh, for 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 what Paul saw one 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 primary thing that we uh, need to understand about our humanity is that our humanity is truly a problem oh yes it's a problem because uh, we were born in to sin Oh, yes, we, we have a problem that has been passed down uh, to us from the first man, Adam. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, understanding that, uh, 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 that we were born into sin, but let me talk to you just a little bit about what God created. Can I tell you about what God created? Uh, okay, uh, uh, we were born into sin, but we were created uh, uh, with destiny and purpose in mind. Uh huh. And so what God did was uh, he created us in his own image. Somebody say in his image. Uh huh. We were created in the image of God. And so uh, uh, how is it that uh, we created in the image of God, uh, but we were born into iniquity? Well, uh, it, it happened sometimes uh, uh, right after creation when uh, Adam committed the first sin and introduced sin into us. And, and what he did was he passed sin down uh, uh, through generations. And, 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 and because uh, he committed sin, uh, uh, now we were born with sinful nature and and so uh, sometimes when you're wondering when you're going through life and and you and you start doing some things that just don't seem to be right and, and you don't understand what's going on well it's in you uh, but I want to give you hope on tonight that uh, uh, that even though you were born in it uh, that does not mean that that's going to be your finish ah uh, glory 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 so so Paul here talks about the law, and I, I thought it was befitting to talk a little bit about the law, and, I, and I'm glad for Paul's encounter because uh, when I look at the law, uh, I found myself uh, sometimes uh, the same way uh, that Paul found himself to be. 
Uh, I, I, I was uh, uh, living my life. Uh, I grew up and I didn't grow up in the sanctified church, uh, but I did grow up in church. Amen. And the church that I grew up, uh, they didn't talk and they didn't teach about holiness. And, and so uh, what, what I did, what I did was I, I grew up learning uh, 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 some things about God and, 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 and what it really amounted up to be is I grew up and I, and I learned how to be a Luke warm Christian meaning that I, I had a form of godliness but no power oh yes I, I, I know somebody can, I, can testify of the fact but that, that there was a point in your life that you realized that what you thought you knew you really didn't know amen as a matter of fact, what you thought you knew, you thought that you was on your way to heaven until you uh, got introduced to the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so Paul here uh, was talking about sin in the case into the law. And he asked the question, well, is the law bad? And he said, no, God forbid. Uh, what it was was is that he didn't have a full understanding of what the word of God required. And uh, I want to, uh, for us to understand that it is it's very important that we get our mind right. Uh, uh, oh, yes, the Bible says for us now, uh, uh, this is the scripture that should help us all out. Because even though we was born into sin and shaping into iniquity, uh, there is a hope for us. Because the word of God says to be not conformed uh, to this world, uh, but be ye transformed uh, by the renewing uh, of your Mind. <laughs> so, so there is hope. That, uh, so, what Paul uh, is saying to us is that I, I, I know that I was born into sin, and I know I was shaping into iniquity. I know I even uh, formulated some carnal uh, ways about myself. Uh, uh, but I, 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 one thing I do know that I can change. Uh, is there anybody in here uh, that's uh, committed to the fact that, that you know that uh, there's some things that's wrong with you? Uh, you know that sin dwells in you? Uh, because the Bible says uh, in the flesh, uh, the well is no good thing. Uh, and so what I need to do is uh, I need to figure out uh, how to bring my flesh uh, under the subjection uh, to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Paul said that 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 what 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 it was was that I I I found myself being that I am an apostle, uh, being that I am a leader. I found myself uh, uh, preaching the word, but I found myself not doing everything that I was preaching. You know, I thought I had this thing figured out. You know how we get sometimes. Sometimes we get to the place where we, we were doing pretty good. And, and we, 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 just, we start walking a certain kind of way. And, and we start feeling like everything is all right. Until we're slapped in the face with our issue. Uh-huh. Well, Paul got to the point where he said, well, nah, nah, it, it, it's, it's bad. Because what, what I preach, I'm not doing. And, and, and I'm telling them what to do, but I find myself not even able. Oh, my God. Can I, can I work on that not even able? I found myself not even able to perform that which I know to do. Uh-huh. And so he, what, what he did was uh, he found an answer to the dilemma. Do you want to know the answer to your dilemma on tonight? Okay, well, what the answer to the dilemma was, was the fact that he allowed uh, the Holy Ghost to come on him. Amen. Yes. Well, let's qualify that. Because he says, in the scripture, there's a member that's a part of our body that works against us. Paul talks about a war that goes on on the inside. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Uh, we, 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 we do. Uh, I know a lot of times we, we talk about, well, uh, you know, it's in my heart. And, you know, I, I love you with all my heart. And, and, and all. we put a lot of credence on that heart. But I, I want to let you know you got to watch your heart. You, 
you, you, better, you better watch your heart. <laughs> Because I read in the word in Jeremiah, uh, I believe somewhere around the 17th chapter, that the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Ask the question, who can know it? Uh huh. And I want to let you know that your heart is a strong body. I tell you, that's a strong muscle. I, 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 haven't, been, I haven't seen documentation of, of people that has burnt to the crisp and, and you get to their body and that heart is still beating. And I just want to let you know that I know that your flesh is strong, I, I, but I just need for you to understand that your flesh is not stronger than your willpower. Amen. All you have to do is get your mind right. Somebody say, get your mind right. Yes, 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 yes. And so Paul, Paul said that I, I find then a, 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 thing, a, a situation that's on the inside of me uh, 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 that, that I, I, I just cannot control. And, and I want you, want you to understand that a heart, you can't control the heart. The brain doesn't tell the heart to beat. The heart just beats by itself. And, and what I want to let you know is, is that sometimes uh, when you feel like uh, your sin and, and the things that just creep up on you, you feel like it's involuntary. But it's the truth. It is involuntary because it's not something that you control uh, 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 impulsively. Amen. One thing you have to do is you have to uh, deal with that thing deliberately. Somebody say deliberately. Uh -huh. That means that you have to have a made up mind. And you got to have a fixed heart. What do I mean about a fixed heart? Uh, David said, oh God, create in me uh, a clean heart and renew a right spirit uh, within me. Uh-huh. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, oh, yes, because it is, it is God that said, I, the Lord, I, I search the heart and I try the reins. And you know, when I was researching this thing, I, I said, well, what? I, I said, I know what the heart is, go oh God, but, but I'm trying to figure out what these reins are. And you know, I read the King James Version. I'm not, I'm not uh, you know, I, I read the King James Version. But, and, and so, so what, what, when reading the King James Version, it makes me have to dig and search just a little bit deeper while I'm reading it, amen. And so I, I, I saw this word rains and I, 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 I had to go deeper. And so when I saw rains, that rains is, uh, is, is something like your kidneys in your body. And, and what, what the function of the kidney is, is that it cleans uh, the impurities out of your body. And so what, I, what, I, I, what God revealed to me is, is that since the Lord uh, searched the heart and he tries to rain, uh, what he's trying is, is your willingness uh, to allow the Holy Spirit, uh, which is the inward man, uh, uh, to take control uh, of your body. I want to let you know that you might think that you're sinning uh, uh, willfully, uh, but you can do something about it. All you have to do uh, is get your mind right. When there's somebody in here say, I'm going to get my mind right. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Hallelujah. Glory. So, so there's a couple of things that I'm, I'm just going to leave. And I, and I know the hour is spent, so I'm not going to uh, take too much time. I'm going to compress this thing for you. Amen. Amen. And so uh, one thing I want to do is, in order for you to get your mind right, uh, you got to uh, know what your mind should be focused on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because see, the problem is, it's not, it's not the fact that uh, our spirit is not willing. For, for the Bible says that our spirit is willing, uh, but our flesh is weak. Uh, and I just want to let you know uh, uh, that, that, that the, per the one that you feed the most is, is the one that's going to be the strongest. Uh, and so in order for you uh, uh, to get your mind right, uh, one thing you got to do, uh, you got to learn what to focus on. Uh, when you get your mind right you got to learn what not to focus on the Bible says here in Romans chapter 8 it goes down to say that if you want 
to allow the Holy Spirit uh, to lead you. Uh, if you want uh, to allow the Holy Spirit uh, to guide you, uh, then what you got to do uh, is not focus on the things uh, of this world. Uh, what you got to do uh, is set your attention uh, and set your affection uh, on things uh, that are above. Uh, I want to let you know uh, that the Bible says uh, to seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness uh, and, and all uh, these things uh, will be added uh, unto you. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when you turn uh, your attention uh, on the things of God, uh, God will teach you uh, all things uh, because the Bible says uh, after which uh, the Holy Ghost has come, uh, he will give you power uh, and lead you uh, to all truth. Uh, and the truth of the matter is uh, that sin uh, is going to always be here. Uh, the truth of the matter is uh, that opportunity is going to always be there. The truth of the matter is that the that sin is easy to do. But I submit to you that if you put your mind on Jesus, everything is going to be alright. The Holy Ghost will teach you how to talk right. It will teach you how to act right. It will teach you how to maneuver. It will teach you how to go under. It will teach you how to leap above the Holy Ghost will teach you and lead you to all truth I tell you right now because when you get the Holy Ghost you don't have to worry about love because I tell you that the Holy Ghost will teach you how to love right and the love of many the love we need love in the church we need love for the bible says that love is patient love is kind love is not puffed up it doesn't behave itself unseemly. It does not seek her own. Love, where everything else fail, love will never fail. And when love gets in the church, then we got something, y'all. Because people can come in the church and they can feel the love of God. And when they feel the love of God, they feel encouraged. I encourage you all tonight to get in, to get your mind right so that we can come to together and experience the power of God I tell you right now that's a good place for you to raise a praise because when we come together and give God the praise we know that he inhabits the praises of his people we know that where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty we know that where the spirit of the Lord is healing take place we know that when the spirit of the Lord is everything somebody say everything everything is gonna be all right come on put your hands together right there put your hands together put your hands together listen 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 I just wanted to I just wanted to encourage you on tonight I know what the hour is late, uh, but one thing I, I set to do, Bishop, is I set to set the atmosphere for you on tomorrow night. Hallelujah, glory. And I, one thing I know, uh, that God loves praise. He loves the praises of his people. And one thing I know, that if we praise God together, uh, we know that God will show up in the midst of our praise. Is there anybody in here that's looking for healing? Is there anybody in here that's looking for deliverance? I need you to join with me right now. Stand on your feet. Just a few more seconds and let us give God the praise. If you're able, if you can't stand on your feet, why don't you give him the fruit of your lips? Why don't you clap your hands like the devil is between them? I want to let you know that it is God that we seek because it is God that we live it's in Christ that we have our being it's in Christ that we move hallelujah somebody shout glory hallelujah say glory hallelujah glory glory put your hands together
listen, listen. Listen, I, I guess the, the, we, we, the, 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 the glory of the Lord has come in this place. And listen, I, I, I believe that we, we have the, the atmosphere just where it needs to be at this moment. And listen, I'm a military man. And, uh, you know, we made a bold statement uh, in coming into this uh, AIM convention. We said to the devil that we were pressing. And then we said, together. We know the devil tried to keep us divided. <laughs> we know he does everything that he can do to keep us divided. But we, we made that de declaration. And, and so we, we are here in the place on tonight. In the upper room, <laughs> church of God in Christ, <laughs> where the place where the Holy Ghost resides. Hey, amen. It makes preaching a whole lot easier. <laughs> amen. <laughs> because the Holy Ghost is here. But let me tell you something. I, I, I found out that every time the, the people of God come together and they come together on one accord, that God shows up and he shows out. Amen. And so what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to get us to praise God together uh, on one accord. Because being in the military, uh, I'm a student of war and I'm a student of warfare. And I'm telling you right now, we're in times of warfare. Amen. If we're going to take our city back, if we're going to take our country back, uh, if we're going to take our nation back, uh, if we're going to take our world back, uh, uh, we need to get together on one accord. Amen. Uh, and it starts in the house of the Lord. Uh, and so I, 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 I want to let you know that uh, uh, last time I looked uh, and the natural army uh, destroyed the enemy, what they did was they, they brought together and they put an atom bomb. Y'all remember World War II in Nagasaki uh, when they dropped the atom bomb on Japan? Uh, it ended the war. Uh, and I believe that our praise together is something like an atom bomb uh, that when we come together uh, on one accord, uh, it's like dropping uh, an atom bomb uh, on the enemy so I'm just preparing you to join with us what I'm looking for is a Shabbat and what a Shabbat is is to cry out to God with a loud voice and I want to get you prepared to cry out to the Lord with a loud voice literally to splitting of the ear if God has done anything for you if you're looking for God to do anything for you why don't you join with us with a dance on your feet uh, and a shabak in your mouth uh, at the count of three. Uh, one, uh, I'm getting you prepared right now. Two, uh, I'm preparing you. One, two, three. Uh, Come on, hallelujah, shout victory, ah. 